Okay, next up we have Alan Forsyth and Ben Ryan. Are you guys ready to go? <laughs> Okay, so uh, Ben and I are going to talk about a collaborative initiative between Scotland's colleges and JORO. And it's about using open educational resources to enhance learning and teaching in the college sector in Scotland. And it's about using an open repository as the primary tool for that. So Scotland's colleges is the organisation that's the heart, at the heart of collaborative activity in the college sector. It does, as you can imagine, a lot of training, support, a lot of collaborative work between the colleges, uh, facilitating consultation. But it also has one shared service, which is a repository for um, sharing learning resources. So um, the college sector in Scotland, 41 colleges, which are currently in the process of being merged into 13, um, the range from uh, small rural to uh, large urban colleges with a very common curriculum. Uh, a lot of change going on in the sector at the moment, the 41 colleges being merged into 13 funded regions, funding has been cut by 25% over the past few years, so big pressure to share resources, um, but also in that scenario teaching staff are afraid about their jobs. Jorum's is just for its service. Okay, it provides open access to CC licensed content. We've, at the current point, we've got over 16,000 resources, all coming in every day, thanks to good work being done. In the fourth quarter this year, we're going to release a new platform for Jorum. It's an upgrade on DSpace, but we also have a new front end. Okay. This collaboration between Jorum and Scotland College is driven by certain things. <coughs> Scary things on the road ahead. The community want more. More functionality, better tools, in fact more. And also, what we need, lots of money, or what we're going to get, are two different things in this current climate. <coughs> Further, we've been driven to provide better value, okay, to our service, to everything. So these are tough times, we know this. Miracles seem to be in short supply at the present time, so the best thing to do is use Jura. It's funded, okay? Why not collaborate? Why not share? Pull resources or work together. Okay? So key on this is that we are. It's the basis of Jorum and the basis of this collaboration. Uh, as Scotland's colleges don't just bring loads of fish to our table as well, they bring high quality content. Okay? And on the world stage, there's big things being said about who we are, and we're doing our little bit. Thank you. As with any collaboration, there'll be need to some changes on both sides. Not all these changes will be welcomed by all. The key to this collaboration is not just the sharing of resources, the sharing of ideas the sharing of knowledge between both partners and working collaboratively to get things done. Thank you. Key to these goals, we need a platform. The new resource for Scots Colleges and also for Jorum. And these <coughs> goals are that platform. What we're going to have to do is a bit of configuration. We're probably going to have to get our hands dirty at some point and we're going to have to tie things together. And eventually, when we've done all that, we have a great new platform both these partners that have worked together with. Thanks, Ben. So, what functionality are we looking for? It's about being able to search for resources not just across the Scottish repository, uh, but across Joram and wider. But it will be specific to the Scottish curriculum, so the lecturers will recognise it. It will integrate with their VLEs. Um, it's also going to provide value to the sector. Uh, at the moment, we're looking at costs of less than 50% of what it costs to run the previous re uh, repository. So we can really demonstrate value to <coughs> funders and to the sector. A um, little bit negative on pitfalls, but actually th in this collaboration, there's been very, very little uh, pitfalls at all. Probably the one thing we found is with two organisations, you need to get things contractually sorted out and getting that done does take a bit of time when you involve people who are not really enthusiastic about the project, like lawyers and that. Um, in terms of uh, being ready to launch, we want to have not just a repository but great content from day one. So we've got the existing content which will be brought across. 
which has been used by a, a large user base already. And we're in discussions with people like NHS Education and BBC about providing further content. This will only work, though, if the repository meets the needs of the colleges. And to further that, we're looking at not a project, this is a process. And we've got an engagement <coughs> group with people from different colleges, different collaborations, different organisations, uh, working with them to establish what their needs are and we're working further. What we've learned from that engagement so far is that the, <coughs> the e-learning specialists, the people that are at the coal phase of doing e-learning, they're really keen and they're really convinced of the benefits of OER. The teaching staff and the management colleges <coughs> are moving in the right direction, but we've still got work to do with them. I think what we've learned about collaboration is that if, you've, if you're going in the same direction, then it really makes it easy. And we do have a lot in common, Scotland's colleges in Joram. Uh, keen about OER, about open source, about, the, about DSpace, uh, and also about making the best of limited resources. <coughs> so here's a draft of what the um, front page is going to look like. Um, trying to make it attractive, easy to use for lecturers. And you can see along the bottom all the organisations that are involved in supporting this project. These are some of the key ones in Scotland in the college sector. Um, the big challenge we have left is we have the infrastructure the systems in place, but it's about really changing the culture. And so we're going to be working both bottom up with teaching staff, uh, helping to get, uh, train them to use the services, but also working with management and developing the system itself. So our launch is planned for this autumn, and we'll be rolling out the engagement strategy, and looking forward to all of that, and uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? <coughs> that looks like you're safe.